It's the Daily Dog. Hey y'all, welcome back to the Daily Dog. Thanks for hanging out with me today. It is a Monday and that means we are starting the week out right with a Metal Monday episode. I am happy that y'all are here with me today because we are going back to music from Ingve Malmsteen. This will be uh, my sixth episode featuring music uh, by Ingve, but uh, it's been a long time. It's it's going to be my first episode featuring his music since episode 230, which was released in September of 2021. So it's been uh, more than a year, and I am happy to get back to music from Ingve Malmsteen, of course, the well-respected Swedish guitarist who rose to prominence in the 1980s and his career is still uh, going strong a long uh, long career he is known for a a sort of hybrid style of music making of course he he is in the heavy metal genre but he is combining elements of classical technique uh sounds from the classical era from the baroque era uh, included in his his voicings, his arpeggios, his rhythms, and he is one of the best at it, right? Uh, so uh, as I was reading in today, it's a bit confusing. I was asked to uh, react to his song Rising Force, and that's the one that we're going to be looking at. And as I read in, Rising Force is the name of his debut album from 1984. However, this song, by the same name, is not on that album. It is uh, rather on his fourth album uh, called Odyssey, which was released in 1988. And so um, with Odyssey, we find Yngwie uh, uh, charting in the United States at the highest level of his career. So this was his most popular album in uh, the U.S. And uh, Rising Force is the lead song on the album. So let's take a listen. Y'all, we've got Ingve Malmsteen. Uh, he is on the guitar. He is also the composer of the song. Joe Lynn Turner is on vocals. He is also the lyricist. Uh, Joe also had stints with Rainbow and with Deep Purple. Uh, Jens uh, uh, Johansson is on keyboards. Bob Daisley is on the bass. And Anders Johansson is on the drums. So let's take a look, friends, at Rising Force from Ingve Malmsteen. Off we go. Ooh, he's tuned down. That's a that that bass is an E flat. Whoa. Double kick, y'all. Large triplets, dumb, bum, bum, Right? While they're going really quick on the straight notes. That's a sequence. That's some of the classical technique coming in. Ascending chromatic scale. That's all over E flat, and A flat, D flat, G flat, C flat, D flat, D natural to E flat, right? So that's four, seven, three, six. It's a circle of fifths progression. Woo! And then a descending chromatic scale. Nice. Uh, 
Leite, though. Right? Baroque style, broken chord arpeggios, right? It's just flat six, flat seven to one in E flat minor. Flat six, flat seven, flat six, okay. To the five. Resolved. Up a step, and then up a step again. I don't know where we're going. Up a step again. And it's back and forth between guitar and keyboard. Went up a half step that time. And that gets them back to E flat minor. Nice. Burning Inferno, it soars ever higher, leaving the demons behind. Bum, bum. Right. It's just... You get a, a, de a descending fifth sequence in the chorus. Seven, re-leading tone seven, then one. Woo! Wow. That's the lead track on the album, and it just shoots you out of a cannon right at the beginning that was really really uh something y'all uh yeah he's got uh that classical uh progression hanging out in that chorus and it just it whenever i hear that it just it just just leaps through the texture at me it's like yep that's what that is i've heard that type of progression many many times over the years that was fantastic. Uh, I want to go though uh, before before we stop. You know, Ingve. It's great enough to have Ingve, y'all. But when I was getting ready to uh, to do this this episode, I was reminded that there is uh, a cover version of this song that is done by a a young uh, female uh, a guitarist named Ayu Gusfans and. Uh, I was asked to take a look at, at her cover of this as well. And so uh, that's what we're going to do. It's a relatively short song, so hang out with me. I want to hear it again, but I want to hear her, her take on it. So um, uh, she's so young. She was born in 2005. And IU, uh, she has covered music from some of the world's best guitarists. She's recorded some of her own music. Uh, in, with in, musicians including Derek Sherinian, formerly of Dream Theater, uh, Andy West from the Dixie Dregs, Van Romaine from the Steve Morse Band, and uh, Derek has uh, since uh, produced several of her own compositions. And uh, her uh, cover of Ingve's Rising Force was posted to her YouTube channel in September of 2019, and I've had several folks alert me to her prowess on the guitar. I'm not quite sure how she's going to do this as a cover uh, with all of the backing tracks, but uh, I want to take a look. Uh, uh, you know, it's, we can hear it again. So let's, l let's listen to IU Goosefonts uh, playing her cover of Rising Force by Ingve. Off we go. There are the flames. The lightning strikes, strikes cracking the night. It feels like never before. Right? That sound that I was doing at the beginning before, I'm struck on that. Hang on. Before before this gets going, um, they're in E flat minor, and it sounds like she's using the actual recording that she's going to overdub on or take out Ingve's part and put hers in. Um, 
you've got E flat minor and the the notes that I'm uh, bringing out of that texture sound like fi to lay, and it's skipping right over the fifth of of the key, and it almost feels like uh, like a Lydian fourth in that minor in that minor sound going to the flat six of it. It's an interesting sound over the top of that E flat pedal. Uh, let's see uh, IU uh, perform this. Off we go. Not a fan of the double kick as a choice, y'all. Cool. Yeah, it sounds like the exact same recording. And she's playing over the top of it. Look at how little motion she's doing with her right hand. It allows her to be quick with her picking. so calm doing it too but really concentrated see uh, her hands at work. It really adds dimension to this. There's a flat six, there's a flat seven, there's a five. Is this where it... Yeah, it, went, it goes to F. It goes up a step. And it was harpsichord and now up to G. She's shredding in G. And it goes up to A with the harpsichord for a couple measures, then a half step this time to B flat, which is five to back to one in E flat minor. It does look like she is tuned down. That low string is open for her, right? being the trailblazer. Rock and roll. And she's like, whatever. What's up, y'all? That's cool. A lot of talent. A lot of talent. It makes me want to hear some of what she's come up with for her own music. Uh, that was fun, uh, getting to hear it uh, twice uh, there. Uh, you really get a sense of of um, a better sense of, of all of, of the harmonic sensibilities and melodic stuff that's going on in in that particular uh, tune. Um, I really like the vocals as well. It does sound 
similar to uh, other st- like uh, Joe Lynn uh, Turner. He uh, I read that he had stints with Rainbow, and that that could have been uh, it, it sounds similar to some Rainbow songs that I've heard. You know, so it it, it really is like going back in time and seeing the 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 early sounds of this melding of of classical technique right and when we talk about that we're talking about how we would take the chords and instead of just playing all the all the notes at the same time you can start arpeggiating them or, or breaking them open and playing across and playing all the different notes of the chords strung out in time and so some of those solos where the notes are going so fast the hand shape is set up to do the chord and it's just the dexterity of of being able to play each of those notes in time at that fast of a rhythm which is a feat uh, unto itself um as for the meaning of of the song uh i it, it's kind of a nebulous uh you know, rising force. Uh, out of the darkness, the voices are calling, riding the wings of a song. The fury is screaming, and heaven is falling. I feel it coming on strong. So it's just a kind of rev you up. You know, we're uh, it's it's a pump you up sort of song, I think. Uh, and uh, I definitely feel pumped, my friends. That was great. Uh, great to get back to Ingve, and also great to be introduced to uh, Ayu Gusfans from uh, Indonesia. And uh, she is really, really great and following along in the footsteps of these really uh, trailblazer guitarists like Satriani and Steve Vai and uh, guys like uh, Ingve Malmsteen. It's always great to get back to Ingve's music and see what he has been up to. Thanks to uh, his fans, uh, all of y'all, for continuing to uh, make sure that I get back to him. This was fun for a Metal Monday. We are off and rolling this week, friends. Thanks for being with me, and we will see you next time on another edition of The Daily Doug.